know, I cannot predict what's going to happen. For me, to connect a project into um, this virtual world and reach an audience, which I don't even know, it's definitely a challenge. And so I think I would struggle a lot without your help. My initial idea was just, I don't even know where it came from. I was there in my astronaut costume, in my capsule. No one sees me, no one knows. How can I create a way to communicate myself? And so this initial idea, how can you make it? Oh, stream it. People can see me, people can see me through a camera. I can talk to them. Yeah, and I saw um, this open call. Obviously, when I looked on the website, I thought like, oh my God, they might just support like big companies or theatres or I, I, I'd never done a performance before. I was then so surprised that actually I realised that maybe it's exactly who they need to support and I was just very lucky. I have now tools which are going to help me um, to realise something that I wasn't even aware about. With Katarina's project, she wanted to explore the, the, the physical effect of isolation and, and delayed communications as, as part of what she was doing. I think it's a very um, crazy idea of um, going to another planet and there is literally nothing. Every time I have like kind of like an idea as well, like with the streaming, this, this idea came up um, when I was in this residency in Scotland. I, I couldn't make it happen there, but it somewhere here in the back, and then the opportunity comes and you go for it. So um, that's why I think we should always look forward, and that's why Mars One is so has so much potential. Very exciting, very supportive. Being able to talk to someone who maybe gives you an advice. Hey, you're doing this, you could do a workshop. Or, hey, you can show what you do in a theater. Oh, actually, you could show it in a festival. You know, th th this kind of ideas, it probably normally wouldn't happen. Or it, it would take much longer or something. And so being a part of the Seed Fund and you guys who make it happen or give me advice, support me, makes me strong and confident and I work and think differently. The visuals that were, that were delivered to, to the audience on the live stream were actually created by the artist from inside her capsule, so it's not, not a case where there's an external camera crew making decisions about how to present this work, it's actually the artist herself mixing the video feeds and with her background in, in visual design also kind of applying these really, really fantastic analog video effects to, you know, to the stream. Suddenly, oh, I'm in Gig uh, Festival, I'm gonna present my artwork there. Um, it's such an overlay of uh, media or interest these days. Uh, I, I started to be less interested in actually categorizing things. As you already say, oh, here are like more the technology people here, more the artists. I think it starts to go more hand in hand. It's more about a network approach of creatives and I'm happy I can be a part of it. Earth,